I'm controlling, I'm feeling that weight, and I'm really trying to bring my elbows up, all right? Hi, I'm Mark McKillie with Live Anabolic, and I'm gonna to talk to you guys about how to build big, wide, impressive shoulders. Now, before I get into six fantastic exercises that you can do at home with nothing but some dumbbells and some bands, I want to just talk about shoulders and why it's important. So this is a muscle group that I think most guys just naturally neglect. They just don't, you know, everybody wants to, you know, work on their arms and their chest, right? But shoulders are really important for several reasons. So first of all, pretty much any exercise you do for your upper body involves your shoulder to one degree or another. So we want to have good, strong, sturdy shoulders so that we can lift heavier weights when we're doing our chest, our back, our biceps, our triceps, okay? So the shoulders are involved. Even if they're not directly involved, they're, they're being used as stabilizers in a lot of different movements for other muscle groups, all right? So that's, that's important. But secondly, this is an aesthetic reason. Big muscular shoulders make you look really wide. All right, and one of the things that just is instantly impressive about any guy with a good physique is that V, all right? It's the, it's the first thing you noticed about another person. It's just the outline of their body. So if they're wearing clothes and they have wide shoulders, they're gonna already automatically look really impressive. Now, the nice thing about having big muscular shoulders is they're wide, well, it makes your waist look smaller. Even if you're carrying a few extra pounds of belly fat that you're trying to get rid of, wide shoulders gives you the illusion that you have a small waist because everything's relative, right? So those are the reasons why I want to show you six great exercises today. And then another thing I want to, to talk about real quick is the fact that I think the shoulder muscle group is probably the single muscle group that we can work basically just as effectively at home as you can at a gym that's just loaded with a bunch of expensive equipment. There's no other muscle group that we can get, that we can hit just as hard at home with just some simple dumbbells and bands, all right? So if you're trying to do chest at home, there's a bunch of great exercises, but there's no way you can hit your chest as effectively, as hard, as intensely as you could working at the gym because there's just tons of machines at the gym that you just can't recreate at home. Not to mention just the sheer weight. So while I'm at the damn doing, gym doing dumbbell presses, I'm using, you know, 90 to 100 pounds. Well, I got 50 pounds at home max, all right? Not to mention all the fly machines and the cable crossovers and all kinds of stuff at the gym. Same goes with your back. We can do a lot of great back exercises here at home with nothing more than dumbbells and bands. but you're not gonna be able to hit your back nearly as hard as you can if you go to a really well-equipped gym with tons of equipment, a lot heavier weights, all right? I just can't use heavy enough dumbbells for my back here at home, okay? And of course, your legs, right? There's tons of leg exercises that are fantastic to do at the gym that you just simply can't do at home. And you're probably not gonna have enough weight at home to hit your legs as effectively as you were going to the gym. But hey, shoulders is the one muscle group <laughs> that that doesn't apply to, and I'm gonna prove it in just a second. All right, so before I get into those six really, really good exercises, guys, I wanna talk to you about our Facebook group. Click the link below this video, it'll take you there. You just, you gotta ask, all right? So we, we have to invite you in, but, but um, it's a fantastic free resource. Let me emphasize that again, free resource. So take advantage of the freebie stuff. I mean, you're on YouTube watching our videos for free right now, all right? So I think you'll get just as much out of the Facebook group. Now the Facebook group, unlike this YouTube channel, focuses on completely different stuff. So it's lots of Q&A, all right? Lots of questions from guys all over the world, over 13,000 members, all right? Um, and I'm the moderator, so I'm there answering questions every day. So there's not a lot of videos. I'm not posting hardly any videos of me doing any exercises. I'm really there answering questions. And then the other guys in the group, 
they're posting pictures and asking questions and answering questions. So there's guys on there asking about what do I do if I got bad knees and I can't do this certain exercise, what do you recommend? Uh, I'm vegan, how do you guys get enough protein in your, in your diet on a daily basis? You know, and I don't necessarily answer, but there might be a dozen other guys around the world that answer that question. So it's a, it's, it's a great group of guys. They're the same age as, as all you guys watching right now. And the other neat thing is a lot of these guys have got fantastic stories, wonderful transformation pictures. You won't believe, you know, guys that are losing 40, 50, 60 pounds. I mean, they look like completely different human beings. And it's fun. It inspires the beginners in the group when they see other men just like them with their same problems having these fantastic success stories. So guys, please take advantage of it. It's the best fitness group on all of Facebook. All right, so guys, exercise number one is called lateral raises. So when we're talking about our shoulders, there's three muscle groups that make up our shoulders. So we got, you know, this front piece here, we got a lateral head and a rear, okay? And so most guys already have a fairly well-developed front head, okay? Because anytime you're doing a pushing movement, like a bench press, you're, you're using your chest, but you're also using that part of that shoulder muscle. Now, so when you're pushing, you're using the front part, but you're not using the laterals or the rear head. So the first exercise is called lateral raises. Now there's several ways to do them. And this is my favorite exercise. If you're only gonna do one exercise, this is the one to do, guys. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to do them with dumbbells and with bands. So depending on what kind of equipment you have at home, you can kind of experiment and figure out which way you like to do it best. So I'm going to start off with dumbbells first, standing, all right? So guys, what I like to do is just slightly bend over. So I'm standing like this and I just slightly bend over. So my hands are hanging kind of in front of me here, all right? And I'm just going to focus on bringing my elbows up, not my hands. So I'm going to up and then down. Now, see how I'm controlling the weight up and down? I'm not swinging it up and then letting it fall, okay? Tons of guys make this mistake at the gym. So they bend over and they, and they use their back and momentum to get the weight up and then they just let it fall, okay? So you're not engaging the muscle very well. So you wanna feel yourself lift the weights with your elbows and your hands will just follow along. So elbows up and you don't need to go very high. So guys, for you with bad shoulders, and there's a lot of y'all watching right now that have bad shoulders. This is probably going to be one of the best or easiest exercises for, for your pain. You don't have to go all the way up here, guys. If you can just do this nice and slow and controlled, okay, and maybe even hold it here, one, two, down, you will feel an incredible burn in your shoulders. All right, so that's standing. You can do them seated too. Now I have a little bench here, but you can do this on a chair or your couch, all right? So get your, your butt way off to the end here. All right, and I just let the dumbbells kind of go under, underneath my legs or under my thighs. And the same thing. I'm controlling, I'm feeling that weight and I'm really trying to bring my elbows up, all right? You may not be able to see it, but guys, you don't want to bring your hands up like that. Uh -uh. It'll put your shoulder in a compromised position. You might pinch a nerve, okay? All right, so get those elbows up and you won't be able to use a lot of weight. And if your shoulders are bad, all right, it's okay, just go to here. If, and if you do it slow and hold it for just a split second, you're gonna get a fantastic burn. Now, that's with dumbbells, guys. Let me show you how to do this with bands. It's the exact same movement except we're just using a resistance band instead of gravity, okay? All right, so be sure you get equal lengths of band on either side of your foot, all right? Otherwise, you're gonna have more tension in one arm than the other. And I like to put my feet real close together when I do this, all right? And so just like before, I'm gonna focus on, oh, bringing my elbows up. And remember, if you're traveling, okay, this is a great exercise to do because that'll fit in any travel bag. Now, those dumbbells definitely won't, but there's always room in your bag. So, guys, this is working 
the lateral head of your shoulder. That's gonna really make him look nice and wide. All right, and once again, I think for you guys with bad shoulders, this is gonna be one of the two best feeling exercises that probably hurt the least. So lateral raises, fantastic. My personal favorite. Okay, exercise number two is called a bent over rear delt fly. It's a long name. Um, so guys, this little muscle in the back part of your shoulder, um, it's, it's, it's really kind of hard to focus on and it's hard to get that mind muscle connection and it's hard to feel it, okay? All right, so it means that when we're doing these exercises for that little muscle, you, get, you can't use hardly any weight, all right? You can't use much weight and you gotta really, really focus on your form. Otherwise, you'll end up getting your back involved and your traps and not so much, you know, the rear part of your shoulder. And this is one of the most underdeveloped muscles in most guys' physiques, because it's, it's just hard to get at. And because you can't see it in the mirror, it's behind you, you just forget about it. But it, it really is good to develop, because it will help build a stronger shoulder joint, okay? And you know, our shoulder is the most flexible joint in the entire body. But that also means it's, it's, the, most, it's the weakest joint, okay? It's the most vulnerable to injury. So getting that rear head of your delt developed is really important from not just a strength and aesthetics look, but also from an injury prevention, all right? So bent over rear delt flies. I'm gonna show you how to do it, and then I'm gonna put the waist down and, and talk to you a little more about the form. So see how my butt is way off on the edge of this, okay, bench here? And I'm gonna bend over, and I'm gonna keep my head straight down, and I'm just gonna lift these things up, all right? So kind of like before, I'm focusing on my elbows. I'm not really paying attention to where my hands are. I'm just trying to get those elbows up, okay? And then look at the tempo. You see how I'm pulling it up and I'm resisting the weight. I'm not letting it fall back down. And just like cheating before, you can see guys do this. So you're using momentum there. So trying to keep my head still and Raise those elbows up and then back down. So put them down, I'm gonna to talk to you real quick, okay? And I'm gonna show you my grip. And I think this is important to feeling that rear muscle. So I want you to grip it in a neutral grip like this. So basically my palms are, are facing backwards, okay? And I'm gonna come up like this and see where my pinkies are at the top. I want them you know, at the top of my hand. I, if your hand is rotated like this, see how the, my palms are facing down at the top of the movement? And my pinky is at the back. It's facing back this way. So I want it up this way. So if you turn it like this and go through the motion, see how you're gonna work the rear part of your shoulder? If you turn your hand this way and your palms are facing down, see how your shoulder rotates? You'll be working a lot of the lateral head. So. I think to focus on the rear part of your, your delt, it's really important to, to bring those dumbbells up like this, okay? So I'm bringing them up in that manner, and I'm not bringing them back like this. So my hands are in the right position, but I'm bringing it too far back. That'll work your back muscles more. So I want you to focus on bringing your elbows straight out to your side, okay? Boom. Pinkies are at the top. Okay, they're not horizontal like this. They're at the top and then back down. And a lot of you guys won't be able to do more than about five or six pounds, all right? And you'll feel like a real wimp. <laughs> That's okay, I promise. You do it nice and slow, do several sets of those, then you'll really start to feel it burn back then, back there, and that will tell you that you got the right mind-muscle connection. Okay, so the third exercise today is an overhead dumbbell press. This is kind of an oldie, but a goldie. Um, some people refer to this as a military dumbbell press. All right, so there's a couple ways to do it, standing or seated. And I think it's good to mix it up, guys. All right, so you could do one set standing, one set seated, or one whole day standing, and then the next time you do it, you know, later in the week or the next week, do it seated. All right, so you're just going to start from here, guys. All right, and we're just gonna go straight up, 
and back down. And guys, I like to look up a little bit. So if you're looking straight ahead, it kind of puts your neck in a weird position, it strains your neck. So you look up, you don't have to look straight up, but look up at about a 45 degree angle. It's gonna take a lot of stress off your neck, make you feel a little better. And if you're starting to feel ugh, in your lower back, if it's starting to bother you, don't lock your knees. Just bend your knees slightly. And as soon as you bend your knees, you're gonna feel a lot of stress taken off your lower back. Any exercise that bothers your lower back, just bend your knees just a little bit and you will immediately feel a difference. Now guys, you can do the same exercise. Okay, seated. Uh, this is great. I see a lot of guys at the gym doing this. Um, and this is not an exercise <laughs> like some of the other ones where you can really cheat on, all right? You can't use momentum. All right, so boom. Right here, I'm gonna be looking up just like standing. All right, real quick, I wanna to talk to you a little bit more about this. So guys, this is the exercise that a lot of you guys probably won't be able to do if you've got shoulder problems. All right, so. It's not imperative that you do this. I'm just giving you six great shoulder exercises. Now this exercise really puts a lot of emphasis on your front part of your delt, okay? Your anterior. You got anterior, lateral, and then posterior. So, like I said before, most of you guys already have a, probably a, an overdeveloped anterior muscle just from doing pressing movements. You get that a lot, but if, if your range of motion allows you to do this, all right, I really do encourage you to try this and work this into your kind of, your regular shoulder workouts. And you don't have to use very heavy weight here, guys. So this might be an exercise where you kind of use less than you normally could, and you don't try to force a heavy weight, but you just focus on using really good form and kind of slowing it down. That way you put less stress on the shoulder while at the same time getting that fantastic pump in the muscle. Okay, so the fourth exercise, guys, is something called front dumbbell raises. So this exercise is gonna focus on the front part of our shoulder. And so because most of you, including myself, have a, a, a well-developed front part of our shoulder, um, you know, our, our anterior part, I, I don't do this very often. Or if I do it, I don't do many sets, I don't push myself very hard, or if I'm doing lots of other shoulder exercises, I'll just skip it all together. But I want you all to know about it, okay? So, a couple different ways to do this. I like doing them standing, okay? So, because it puts a lot of weight way out in front of you, I don't like doing them two-handed. So I like to do alternating. See how when I lift the weight up, I have to kind of lean back? If I don't lean back, my body will just fall forward, okay? And it's just something natural. You don't have to think about it. So, boom, you lift it up. And you only have to lift it up to about shoulder height. You don't have to get it real high. And then you can change your, your hand position. You can bring up the dumbbells like this. Kind of like in a hammer position. Now, for you guys with shoulder problems, all right, you need to experiment and see which way feels better to you, okay? So... If that feels better on your shoulder joints, do it that way. If you like the hammer technique, do it that way. But guys, if you don't have time to do all six of these exercises, this is the one I would tell you to skip. Okay, so the next two exercises we're gonna be doing with some bands and an anchor. I typically like to do a high anchor when I'm doing both of these. And both of these are designed to hit the rear part of our shoulder, okay? And that's, remember, once again, that's kind of the hardest head of the shoulder to focus on. And it's because anytime you're hitting that muscle, okay, you're also engaging, you know, your back and your traps and some other muscles. So it's kind of hard to get the mind-muscle connection. But if, you, but if you use a really good form and I mean really focused, you'll, you'll be able to, you'll feel it, okay? So these are called face pulls. Now guys, typically you're gonna be able to 
do a lot more weight. All right, this is not nearly enough resistance for me. I'm just kind of doing this for demonstration purposes. I just want to show you the form. Okay, so make sure that that anchor is good and strong because once again, you're going to be pulling this with a lot of resistance right at your face. All right, so if that lets go, it's going to hit you in the face. Most of the other exercises you do with bends are never going to hit you in the face if something breaks. So this is the one that you need to really worry about. All right, guys, so face pulls, boom. You got to step away from the anchor because I want it to already have preload or resistance. All right, so the very beginning part of the movement, I'm going to set my feet apart here to give myself kind of a nice wide base. Okay, you see how I'm doing here? Because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be leaning back all right, and I already got some good resistance here, especially if I had two or three bands in here. I'd already have a lot of resistance, all right? And then I'm going to pull, like I want to get that anchor to come and hit me right in the face. So don't pull down low. If I'm pulling with my elbows down here, you're working almost exclusively your back, all right? Get those elbows as high as you can. Those elbows, that's as high as I can get my elbows right there, boom. And then I want to keep my hands high and my elbows high, even as I'm going forward. So don't bring them down here. All right, try to keep them high, back. And then when you get back here as far as you can, hold it, one. One, count, and then slow back, all right? Because if you, if you let them go back too fast, you're not working the muscle, okay, on the eccentric. So this is the concentric part of the movement. That's the eccentric part. And you want to resist that band through the full range of motion and really try to keep your elbows nice and high. And when you do it, you're going to really start to feel the back of your shoulders build up a lot of lactic acid. And that's the burn that we're looking for. That means you're hitting the muscle correctly and you're going to get a great pump. All right, last exercise, number six. We're focusing on the same sub muscle group, the rear part of our delts, okay? So I've given you three different exercises that will focus on the rear part of your shoulders. And you guys, try all three of them and see which one you can feel the best. Now, you don't have to just do one. You can do all three if you want. But I'm giving you three to choose from, all right? Because some guys just can't feel it when we do certain exercises. It just never really sinks in. They don't get that mind-muscle connection. They don't feel the pump. Other guys are like, wow, I really feel that. So that's why I want to give you a bunch of different alternatives. All right, these are called rear delt flies. So we basically did this earlier with some dumbbells and they were bent over delt flies. So I was bending over and I was doing a fly. All right, now what happens if I do this and I just stand up? Well, I can't do it with a dumbbell anymore because the dumbbells are pulling down. I need something that resists pulling back, hence the bands. All right, so I'm gonna come back here. I don't need a lot of resistance here. And because this is a small muscle group, you're not gonna be able to use very many bands or only one small one, all right? So I'm going to basically make the same movement that I did earlier with the dumbbells when I was bent over with my head facing the floor. Now I'm doing it with my head facing straight ahead and I'm trying to bring my elbows back and I'm trying to resist that tension in that band real slowly, both directions, especially at the maximum contraction here. I want to feel it for like a one count. Ah, and then back and once again, Concentrate on bringing your elbow back. Don't try to worry about bringing your hand, okay? So if you bring your elbow back, all right, your hand will follow along and it'll be in the right position. All right, so elbow is coming back as far as, I can't get my elbows any further back than that. That's just as far as they're gonna go, all right? And if you hold it and flex, you can feel the rear part of your shoulder. Now you're also gonna be able to feel a lot of muscles in your upper back. There's just no way that we can get just the rear delt without including all those big back muscles. So guys, six <laughs> really great exercises. And I would say these are about 
as effective as, as they can be. So even if we were at the gym, I don't really think there's any other exercises or pieces of equipment at the gym that would give us a better shoulder pump or a better shoulder workout than the six exercises I just showed you right now that you can do at home with nothing more than some light dumbbells and some simple inexpensive bands. All right, so guys, I think shoulders are a really important muscle group to focus on and hit hard on a weekly basis, sometimes even twice a week, depending on the structure of your workout plan. And you know, this is a picture of me from behind. And you know, you got, you got this rear part of your delt right here. You got a pretty big lateral head. And then the front head is so big, you can see it, even though it's facing forward, you can see it from the top, all right? And so, you know, you can even see the shadows from the outline of where the, the delt ties into your upper arm here. And guys, if you can build big shoulders, it's gonna make you look wider this way. And if you're wider this way, no matter how much fat you got in your stomach, it's gonna make your stomach or your waist look narrower than it would if you just had little skinny, wimpy shoulders. So that's why shoulders are so important, eh? <laughs> Lots of reasons. If you got some bad shoulders, I gave you six different exercises to experiment with. See which ones work the best for you, hurt the least amount. And I actually show you some ways to do some exercises with limited range of motion that should really help you guys work around some of your injuries. And just like always, remember guys, if you stick with all these exercises and never give up on yourself, you're gonna build some impressive shoulders.